share this channel on the internet. Rise and shine, rise and shine. Wow, it felt so good sleeping on shore power. Generator could be pretty loud. So the day starts early, I think. I don't even know what time it is, but it starts early. Ah, so let's go with the show. I'm on Pesaco with the show. And that's how we start our mornings. Full of grease and bacon, baby. <laughs> so we're here hanging out on Mike's backyard. Check it out, boom, right there. And then today, we're gonna start our day uh, on the water, the best place to be. But before getting there, we gotta get that energy going, so big mama right here is coming in our force. <coughs> an, overdose, an overdose of grease yes. and carbs. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that thing right there, boom! That's what you call massive overload. So we're here early in the morning, here hanging out with Mike. Mike here at the back of his house, the best place to be on the water. And we're what, Tavernier? Tavernier Key. Yeah. My marker, 92 and a half. Yep. So we're here hanging out because he's also going, well, there we go. We're also going to the boat rally today and we're heading over to the sandbar. And how far is the sandbar from here? Half an hour, half, it's about half an hour drive. It's my marker 88. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. We got somebody across the, across the canal as well. Yeah, yeah, we got more friends coming. Alfredo. Alfredo. Also coming with us. Let me show you guys. He's actually number 81. And we're actually number 79, but I can't see it. 7981. So, good friend from the Keys. I call him Mike from the Keys. So, thank you for having Welcome us here. Along. Mi for, casa, tu casa. Thank you for help, uh, letting us dock here behind the house. Best Cuban coffee ever. He got Oguita's drug. So, coffee. wait, now you like him more. Now you like him more. I like him more. <laughs> Well, I guess Oguita is going to have to finish up breakfast while we're moving and we're going to have to eat it on the go because we're supposed to meet the boat rally gang at the sandbar at 11.45 and right now it's 10.30. But the good thing is the water's pretty calm so it's not going to move the food around while she's finishing up. Yep, Oquita's my hero because she did it before we had to go back to cruising speed. So it gives us enough time to eat up our delicious breakfast. Oh, 
Well, with the sandwich in one hand, with the other one, we picked up the dinghy and loaded it up and started our way down south towards Isla Morada Tiki Bar. And once again, feeling lucky because we're gonna have a smooth ride all the way down with sunny, clear skies. And by the way, this is part two of the Miami Boat Riding. So if you missed part one, you can wait to the end of the video and you can click on the thumbnail to watch part one. Just like Mike said, within 30 minutes or so, we have reached Isla Morada channel for the sandbar. And you're gonna notice that there's already plenty of boaters here enjoying the day and having fun in the sun. And it has been a very long time that I haven't visited Isla Morada sandbar. I would like to take a guess and say over 10 years. Because normally when I come to the Keys, I go check out different places all the time and even though we had a boat rally last year but we didn't come to this sandbar but now we're gonna keep cruising by and keep our eyes open for the Miami boat rally flags but right now I'm gonna take time to answer a question well I got the same question a few different times and the question was how much did I spend on fuel well the hydro has three tanks and the center one is hundred and fifty gallons and I figured that was enough for the whole trip plus I didn't want to run with extra weight so that's how much I spent 150 gallons times five dollars and right now according to the gauges I only wasted about 39 percent of the fuel but I'm also running the generator And we have found the Miami boat rally flags waving in the air. So we're gonna anchor down and raft up to our friends. And also unload the dinghy for the kids to cruise around. Well, you guys are going to notice something different on the hydro sport and yep is this yellow tarp that mike let me use because he actually came along with us instead of taking his donzi out by himself and i really love the idea of the tarp because we got a lot of shade that i might be getting one for my own and it worked out pretty good because today is hot and very sunny and i guess it's one of those things that you didn't know you really needed it until you use it once So we're all secured. We got the two front anchors, the bank anchor, and I just put the ladder down. So now it's time to jump on the dinghy and go hang out with the boat rally crew. Right now they're doing family competition activities and one of them is doing a paddleboard time competition while the kids go snorkeling finding treasure in the water while the other adults like me just do some sea laxing.
Están pasando bien aquí hoy en el Boat Rally. Buenísimo, buenísimo. Todo, la navegación, todo súper organizado, de verdad, buenísimo. Qué Los bueno, felicito. qué bueno, qué bueno. O sea, pues aquí en la casa. So, ¿Cómo anda, bro? ¿Cómo anda? So, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't go. I, I came last night. You came straight over? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came, no, I came last night. Come on now. It's always a pleasure saying hi to the boat rally gang. Plus, meeting new ones. But right now, we're going to take a look around and see what everybody else is here doing at Isla Morada Sandbar. Bueno amigos, siempre es un placer conocer todas las personas que miran el canal. Oh guys, I said it in Spanish, now I'm saying it in English, and I'm gonna say it over and over again. It's always a pleasure meeting the people that watch the channel. Thank you so much for watching and the love and support. And by the way, I would like to say a special thank you to the Marine King for the gift of $50 to the channel. Thank you so much. And while most people walk around with their family and friends and get to meet new boating friends, others just hang out on their boat and enjoy the sea breeze that I like to call it sea laxing. Well, so far so good. Everyone's enjoying their day here at the sandbar. The boat rally participants and the local boaters. And if you were here this day or to the rally, let me know by leaving me a message in one of the comments and tell me which boat you were in or maybe I caught you on video without knowing. Now we're gonna head back to the hydro and hang out with the rest of the crew under the shade because today is pretty hot and sunny.
Daniel y Michael. Mira lo que me trajeron. Yo. No es chicha, bro. Es mejor que esa chicha. Seguro, eh. Disfrútenlo. Coño, gracias, gracias, man. Gracias, gracias. Claro, oh, claro. Yeah. Claro. 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 I got to meet some great fans that watch the channel and they brought over grilled shrimp. Now, it doesn't get better than this. And I would like to thank them very much. So right now I'm gonna enjoy the shrimp as a snack and drink about two gallons of water because it is super hot while we hang out in the shade on the hydro. But don't go away because yep, there is a part two. While wow, we took out the dinghy and cruise around the sandbar one more time and met more cool fans that watch the channel. And we got to see the Boat Rally Costume Contest. What's up, what's up? Yeah, everything's good, man. And you know what else is coming up tomorrow? Yep, the most important part of the day. Food time. And also, you guys get to ride back with us home. That, we saw a really fast boat go by us. And we got it on video. So remember to tune in tomorrow at 1 o'clock for part 3.